do you want? What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? Are you bored? Are you bored? Hmm? Look at your brother back there. <laughs> Look at your brother back there, Mickey. He rolls around with that big toy, and then he bites the bone a little, and then he plays with the toy a little. And I guess he's going to get the bone now. Oh, he's going to put the bone on the toy. <laughs> oh, yes, he's crazy, isn't he, Maggie? Yes, he's crazy. You guys get along great because you're both crazy. Yes, you are. I really need to do housework, guys, but I've just been sitting here watching these dogs. I waste too much time watching these dogs, don't I? You like me to waste time paying attention to you, right? Yeah? <laughs> this dog is so silly. He's so, it's so funny how their personalities are so different. I know everybody want a couple people want me to do videos on their personalities, um, the difference in their personalities. Um, I think their personalities come out pretty good on the videos, don't you guys think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I would describe Magnum's personality. He definitely, I don't know if I've mentioned this on any videos, but he definitely does not like to be cuddled. Um, and he does not, like, the other boys will all lay together and, like, cuddle up. He doesn't want to be near anyone. He doesn't want anyone touching him, um, when he's laying down. He is, like, he likes his space, I guess you'd say. Um, even with us, if I, if, if he's laying next to me, me and I, like, move too close to him or something, he, he juts right down off the couch. Or, even if he's laying by my feet and I just happen to touch him, he juts away. He, he likes his space and don't like to be, um, anyone touching him when he's resting. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> and he only wants on your lap when he wants on your lap. Um... He's not the most lovable dog, I guess you'd say. I mean, he is, but he isn't. I don't know how to explain it. And, uh, yeah. He, he's, he's definitely got a different personality, let me tell you. <laughs> he's friendly. I'm not saying he's not friendly. He's just, he's just a silly dog. He's got a quirky personality, I guess that's what you'd say, right? And Miggy, well, he's just Mr. Playful. He, but he still loves to love on you, too. Um, kiss, kiss, kiss. He's got a long tongue, let me tell you. <laughs> he's Mr. Playful. And Marley is just Mr. Lovable. He just wants to cuddle up right next to you, and he could just lay with you and let you let you pet him all day. Mozzie is, um, he's Mr. Lovable too. He almost, when you pick him up and you cuddle with him, it's almost like he's hugging you. Sorry, I got my curtain shut because it's so bright out. <laughs> um, and he's hating it because he wants to, he, he's like the guard dog. He's the guard dog of the bunch. Here you go, Moz. There you go. I'll open the curtains a little for you. He's a hunter. Yes, he is. He, uh, he's a guard dog and a hunter. But he's Mr. Lovable, too. And Max, he's kind of quirky, kind of like Magnum in the way that he... Look <laughs> at your face. Oh, you just woke up. Yeah, I gotta wash your faces today. Okay, guys, my battery died. I had to charge it up a little bit so I could finish this video. Um, <laughs> as I was saying, Max kind of has a little bit of a quirky personality, too. He's very lovable. He He's a lap layer. He doesn't like to be cuddled uh, like Marley and uh, Mozzie. 
But his personality is he kind of hangs back. He hangs back out of the pack and he kind of observes what everybody else is doing. Um, like if somebody comes to the door and everybody's barking, he's kind of, they're all up there barking. He's kind of back and he's watching what's going on. Is everything safe? Is it okay? <laughs> or if you hear something outside, he'll, um, he'll bark and look at the other dogs like, Hey, go check that out. Kind of like when you go to a haunted house with your friends and you kind of push your friends ahead. So they have to endure the scariness first. So you can see what's going on. That's how Max is. So, and then Kitten is, Kitten's just a slug. <laughs> he sleeps all day and cleans himself all day. He mainly plays at night when the dogs are in their crates to bed. I have to keep all his toys downstairs and, and the part I have gated off where his cat litter and stuff is. So he kind of plays down there with his toys. If he happens to bring his toys up, the dogs destroy them. They will not allow Kitten to have any fun or have any toys. It's kind of sad. <laughs> but he plays at night. And when I put them to bed, if I stay up a little bit and I'm laying on the couch and uh, watching a video or TV, he comes and lays right on top of me and wants his pets at night. So he's a great kitty. He's 12. He's 12. Um, Marley is 5. Max is 5. Um, Miggy is four. Mozzie up there in the window. I don't know if you can see him. He's laying on, the sun's on him there. He's laying there in the window. He is six. And then Magnum will be one in April. So that's their ages. Um, Max and Marley will turn six years old this spring. So I'll have three six years old soon. Yes, I will. Max is in March and Marley's in April. So is uh, Magnum. His is in April too. They're one day apart. So I'll have three six-year-olds this year. Yes. Yes, we will. Yes. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Look at those flying nun ears. Max, do you have flying nun ears? Yes. <laughs> Bye, guys.